Hi, Olivia. How are you doing today? Honestly, not very good. I don't know. I've just been feeling really tired all the time, mm -hmm. and my joints are like in so much pain, and just my stomach, like, it hurts so much. Hey interns, you've got an interesting case today. So you know, if you can actually turn your thinking caps on, maybe we can save a life. Our patient is a 21 year old female, no previous chronic conditions, generally healthy and a healthy weight. But these are the symptoms that she came in presenting today. She has fatigue and fainted on my table because of how tired she's been feeling. She's vomiting, has joint pain, a malar rash that's very obvious on her cheeks and nose, and dizziness. Well, the joint pain could be indicative of juvenile arthritis, but the patient's older than the average age of diagnosis. What if it's systemic lupus erythematosus? But lupus is so rare. The symptoms fit the condition. I wouldn't rule it out. Rare doesn't mean never. So, other than the symptoms that I've already presented you guys with, can you think of any other tests that we can do to figure out if this patient, in fact, you know, has lupus? We can possibly conduct an anti-nuclear antibodies test if her results come up positive, it would suggest that her immune system is attacking itself by attacking the nuclei in the skin and organs. And that would also explain the male, male arm butterfly rash on her face as well. That's a very valid point, Nikra. Well, we know lupus targets the kidneys, so we need to assess kidney function. We can do this by conducting a urinalysis. Absolutely. I like the way you two are thinking, surprisingly. Let's get on it as soon as we can. So I just wanted to let you know that uh, we ran a bunch of tests and we were able to figure out what's wrong with you and why you've been feeling this way. And you do have uh, systemic lupus erythematosus. Now that's nothing to worry about and though there's no cure, there's uh, various different management methods which lead people to live long and healthy lives. My interns will come in um, and give you a little more information about that, but I just wanted to explain to you what lupus erythematosus is. In a healthy individual, antibodies circulate the blood, binding pathogens to prevent the spread of infection. In someone like you, Olivia, who has lupus, the antibodies attack your own healthy cells. They are incorrectly identified as dangerous invaders and are killed off, contributing to the slow destruction of your own healthy cells. This is the mechanism contributing to your symptoms, for example, the joint pain or the skin rash. And if the disease progresses, eventually organs, including your heart and kidneys, can become affected too. Irreversible damage to these organs can result due to the abundance of pro-inflammatory molecules circulating your body. It is unclear what triggers this, but research suggests genetics plays a role, and it is assumed that multiple triggers can accumulate to cause this autoimmune disorder. Yeah, so I'm Dr. Northrup. Hi, Dr. Sagi. So like your doctor said, unfortunately there is no cure for lupus, but we'll go through the three different points of intervention that can help you manage lupus. Here's the list for you. So medical intervention means frequent visits to the rheumatologist. Well, what do they do? They are autoimmune specialists who will help you keep track of your lupus progression. It's also important to minimize sun exposure, which will help prevent flare-ups of your rash. You also want to maintain a healthy body weight and decrease stress. Like stress from school? Yeah, exactly. Both physical and emotional stressors. You should also look into pharmacological interventions. This includes non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication to help decrease inflammation and joint pain. And there are corticosteroids you can take that will help suppress your hyperactive immune system. Wow, what are the chances? See, just because lupus is rare doesn't mean it never happens. And you know, for a couple of interns, you guys didn't do half bad today. You know, we really do have to keep going though because we have many more cases to solve.